pistachio. You don't count. Dang. That's the code word. That way when I see pistachio in the chat, I'll know that it's live. Also, as a kid, I used to think it was pistachio because that's how my family pronounced it. Pistachio. That's close enough. Or no, that's pistachio. Alright, here's DK Country 3, which I think is the best one and other people think sucks. Very brief thing to mention about this game, um, before I get started. The number one reason people seem to not like it is because of Kitty Kong. He's basically an uglier Donkey Kong. That's all you need to know. Um. Oh, we get a name for this one. I could name it something stupid. Um, I will name it the st first stupid thing that somebody suggests. But yeah, the, uh, the only things you need to know, it was released after the N64 was already out, and Kitty Kong is unpopular. Torbis. <laughs> okay, we're going with Torbis, except I think it only takes five letters, so we'll probably get, like, Torbo or something. Yeah, it's just pep and cheese. You have to cut your own pizza. Torboo. Anal. Good. Oh god, I'm not doing hard mode, no. How was everyone's night? Hey, hey look, product placement. Look, it's an N64. On the N64. Isn't this on... Is this though? Yeah. At least they were superheroes in fact. Cheesy bread. Without garlic on it. Alright, so I... Let, before we even know what anything is in this game, here's the save screen. So I've got zero seconds on the clock, zero percent, zero DK coins, zero silver coins, zero B coins, zero mutant banana things, a cloud, and eight question marks. Good. Now I actually know what all these things are, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of the game throwing shit at you, so... There we go. Uh, do I want to do anything in the store? I don't. I mean, I don't have any coins yet. But Mana. so this game has bear <clears throat> this game has bears. Why does it have bears? I don't know. At least it's not the country bears. Yeah, oh, it, it's the country bears. Who the hell ordered cheesy bread with no garlic? Um, that the was shelf no, that was going to be thrown Is out. Is that a mirror? Oh, okay. Nothing today. Um, everything was clean, so I wasn't allowed to use the brushes or the cutter. Okay, I was thinking that someone explicitly ordered no. it that way. It's like, who the hell does that? No, this is old dough that was about to get thrown you out. You better so. damn well be allergic to garlic, because there's no other <laughs> It's not so bad, but yeah, it would be better with garlic on it. So, we'll be back there later. Disappearing bears. It's time for a game. Yo, Dixie, what's happening? No, we're not doing that. Your excellent cousin, Kitty Kong. Everyone's favorite character. You better go. Alright. So, uh, we're immediately noticing a few differences between the last game and this one. Uh, we have, we have a boat, first of all. There's, like, a map to explore. There's bears, for some reason. There's yes. also, like, dialogue. Because, you know, there wasn't dialogue with Cranky or anything. Also, secrets on the map. Oh no, that was so hard to remember. So Simon says with crystals? Mm-hmm. All right, off we go to the first world, Lake Orangutanga. So why did they make Kitty? 
Um, because the trend in the Donkey Kong countries is basically just... You start with DK and Diddy, then DK just gets kidnapped, and then you have Diddy and Dixie as your characters, and then DK and Diddy get kidnapped, so you have Dixie and they had to introduce another new character. I see. He looks special. There's a baby. Here's like swole crocs and swole faiths. Anyway, so here's uh, some more game mechanic stuff. We still have the bones barrels from before. This time, basically every single level in the game has exactly two of these, so I won't have to worry about like asking how many there are. And uh, they changed the way that you get the DK coins. It was visible on screen for like two seconds, and I'll show it off in a second here. But yeah, I. This was always the one I liked the most. Kitty is not too horrible. Like, I. He rides the short line. I don't know. I never had a problem with him as a kid. But, uh. Like, the only complaints I've ever really seen are that Kitty is stupid and that, uh. There's less, like. Atmosphere in the game, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that, that's how you get DK coins. So you have to hit these enemies in the back with a steel keg. Um, what you saw there was the most simple version of that, and it gets more and more complex as the game goes on. Must kill the ratatoing. But yeah, I think the music in this game is really cool, though. Um, not that it wasn't... Like, we had good songs in the last one. This one has, like, this really weird instrumentation, though. Also, here's Kitty's special ability. Who was uh, it that complained about this game? Um, I forget his name. You can skip on water. Very weird. It was basically a banjo coin. Oh yeah, these freaking minigames. I forgot about these. These are annoying slightly. I'm happy because I'm off tomorrow. Oh, okay. Today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Okay. We will go to the mall. Clearly. No way to do laundry. <laughs> Jeez, at this point, I'm convinced that you're just trying to piss people off on purpose. What did you say? Um, there was a song in the last game that is, like, a popular favorite, and he keeps shitting on it at every possible opportunity. No, no, jeez. So, that was our, uh, short experience with Ellie the Elephant. It, it lasted all of two seconds. She's kind of adorable. Over here. All right. When you say elephant level, do you mean the one where you get scared by a bunch of rats and are running uncontrollably? Because I do remember that level being pretty bad. Selfish, shellfish, or a selfless sea crab? Um. I, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Grabs lever on ceiling game makes loud fart noise. I didn't hear it. It's not very noticeable, at least. I don't know. I would be a selfless sea crab. Because I don't want to be selfish. I was actually thinking about those games earlier, because when I was ranting about Gex 3, um, part of the story that I left out was uh, 
after I had done the initial let's try, and then, like, picked it up as, like, a full series later. Um, this was when I still did five videos a week, and, um, so, like, the week that I started that one, on Monday, I said, like, I, ar I already did the, uh, first episode of this, like, a while ago, so, like, just go watch that one. Instead of having Gex today, like, I'll do episode two tomorrow, and you get this instead, and I did, like, this is the only level or something. And I just remember, it might have only been, like, one person, but in my mind, I remember it being a lot more. Like, just really, really bitching at me. Like, this is the stupidest thing you've ever done. Like, you're seriously not gonna upload today because of that? What the fuck, man? Like, it was, like, one day. What the hell? I guess what? 27 feels the same as 21, too. No, not really. There, There is, like, there is a moment, though, where you think you're gonna grow up and then that never happens. And then you're like, oh, I got an adult without feeling like an adult. I don't think I've aged since I was 18. Sometimes it feels like that. 18 was my renaissance. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, I actually thought her hair was a banana. I figured it was fitting. <laughs> My prime year, let's debate. Okay. You have so much information to base that off of. Well, clearly I ruined you, so... Before me. <laughs> so here's an interesting statistic that uh, is, is relevant to the research project that I'm working on. <clears throat> nuclear energy has produced exactly zero deaths over the entire course of its usage as an energy source, whereas wind energy has produced 30. I, how? I don't know how. Probably because we're super careful about the other thing. I mean, it's when we like think a, of wind, it's like, ah, oh, it's just wind. I, I think it, the only thing I can imagine is people, like, falling off of a windmill trying to Probably, replace yeah. a part. That's the only thing I can think of. Hey, look, it's a puzzle. I have to open the door and then throw the barrel through. Well, there is the Chernobyl incident, right? Yeah, but apparently it didn't kill or injure anyone. Well, it did cause a lot of mutations, though. And children that were born. Down in the valley where a chemical spill came from the people living up on the hill, there's a family by the landfill with hazardous foam in their happy glowing home. Oh, that was a life that I missed. Whatever. Yeah, that should never kill people too. Okay, I'll find out. To Google. Maybe US stats only? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's actually look at the save cave real quick, because, um... Oh, that might be in the U.S. only. The banana bird that I caught earlier is now here. Okay, bye. What's Three Mile Island? Three Mile Island was a place where there was a nuclear incident, but that one, See, I'm Grant? sure, didn't result in any. Yeah. Like, it wasn't good, but it didn't hurt anybody. And also the one in Fukushima, I don't think that killed anybody either. Like, nope. th there have been meltdowns, it's just they're usually not lethal or even dangerous. No, banana birds are not required for anything other than 100%. So here's Barnacle. Yeah, because I know um, a lot of kids are born with mutations and stuff. Apparently, hydroelectric dam construction is also a lot more dangerous, having costed thousands of and deaths. that's all we get. What is it? Uh, hydroelectric power. Oh. Like, dam construction apparently is super dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Russia. 
That might be why it's not included in the figure. That one I think was unique. <clears throat> and not in the US. This is probably a US it's figure. Not US only, yeah. It doesn't say, but it makes sense. Yeah. Also, I yeah, that makes sense because if wind energy kills has killed 30 people over time. It would make more sense that that number is in a single country rather than the whole world. Uh, I don't remember what this guy says about this castle, so whatever. Let's see what he says. Thank you for the pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that was worth two coins, yeah. What if someone is blown off of a cliff by the wind? Does that help? Or does Wait that a second. <laughs> I assume it has to be specifically work-related. Yeah. I did not realize there was a Zelda reference in this game. I think I I think the last time I ever played this was before I knew what Zelda was. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Weird. Five hundred rupees. I'm wondering about my shells being the wrong shape. Shells. Is that Link's Awakening? I guess that was the latest game at the time. What shells? Huh? Well there's there's seashells in Link's Awakening. Oh, okay. Huh. That was funky. It was a fairly long reference, too. <clears throat> Link doesn't talk. Yeah, give me your damn motorboat. Also, before I actually get any further into this game, um, isn't there, like, something you get for beating the game under five hours or something? Like, I mean, I'm not going to be specifically trying to do that this time, but uh, I don't remember if that was required for anything. Here, have a damn seashell. I don't think there's anything that would persuade me to get rid of this bird. How about a random shell? <laughs> Immediately is gonna give up the bird. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, are we immediately starting out with the... Ah, alright. I will say one thing about, um... Kitty's inclusion in this game in a, like, positive light. The original Donkey Kong Country had the whole, like, big guy versus little guy mechanic where they had, like, their strengths and weaknesses. And that kind of went away when it was Diddy and Dixie. And this one, they've brought it back, which is good, because this game also has, like, the tag team, like, throwing a character type thing, which the original did not, so it's a nice way of kind of combining the mechanics there. I also think, like, so it is strange. Yeah, it's a weird one. I enjoyed playing through it. I don't think I'd LP it or anything, but uh, it was an interesting game. Fish. That was my favorite bit of N64, roaming around as the fish. Yep. On guard and squawks are the only animal buddies that remained in all three of the original games. And in DK64 for that matter. Rambi was there. Yep, Rambi is not in this game though. Oh. I mean, I did that last time. Jonathan, like, in the last stream I, I literally did that. So that would be an extremely easy ten million dollars. I would never have to work. That would be cool. <laughs> well, taxes would take a big chunk, but yeah, I think we could live comfortably off of that. God, so I'm, <laughs> I'm working on this, this group research project with five other people, one of whom isn't contributing to the paper at all, so There's it's always not one. them. There's always one. Yeah. Um, it's not, it, so it's not that guy, and then there's one other person who's copy editing it with me, who I know is competent. However, the other two people, or three, um, like, I'm reading through the sections that they wrote, and sometimes there's just sentences that I have no answer to. I wish I had an earlier one saved that was just really good, but here's, like, I'm reading along, are and then... Are y'all all working on one Google Docs? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, so I'm reading along, and I see, I see the phrase, in additional. 
How does that even happen? <laughs> In additional. <laughs> Yeah. Do they mean additionally? Uh, either that or in addition. I don't know how in additional happened. There was another oh, one earlier shit. that was really good. Oh, what was it? I didn't realize I had only one shot at this. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, I named uh, every Pokemon, including alt forms. The only thing I missed was... Uh... Wow, I cannot do this. The only one I missed was uh, Cosplay Pikachu. That's true, I did almost miss Mega Adino, but I remembered it, like, randomly later on. Um, it's in my highlights here on Twitch. I am probably going to put it on YouTube after I upload <coughs> the uh, rest of those streams. I've been putting it off because I had to edit the first... Donkey Kong Country, and I'm trying to render it out, and Camtasia is being a piece of shit. You gotta do it in smaller trucks with Camtasia. Oh, wait. Where did I do that? I thought that was gonna be a bonus level. It was not. Skittos Row. Skittos Row. Also, best snowman. I don't know why, but I really love that snowman sprite. It's, like, adorable looking. You should look at it. I don't know which has the longest cry. I think in Gen 5 it was actually Zekrom, surprisingly, which doesn't sound like it should be that long. Groudon is, like, just kind of a generic, like... Arrgh, kind of thing. It's not very distinctive. A lot of the legendaries are like that. They're just kind of like loud, <laughs> grumbly noises. Oh yeah, I forgot about female symbol. Yeah, that's the longest cry, because it is literally <coughs> infinite. <coughs> Jinx is actually not the longest. I, Because Gen 5's Pokedex had like it showed, like, how long the cry would play, and, uh, I actually checked. It was not as long as Ekrom's. Aeroblast noise from Gen 2. Isn't it, like, wah, 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 It's, like, just this really loud, annoying screech. <coughs> I regret making that noise. What if I just turned off the snow? Or the sky, or everything? Or jail. Cricketune is. Is that the cricket? It is named Cricketune, so yes. Except it's actually based off a of violin beetle. I think I tried to use that one. And it was complete shit, yeah. Well, Cricketot is the first form, and that's the one that, like, starts out with bite and nothing else, right, so it was... Yeah. It was my, my Cricketune is not much better. Pokemon, and I was like, oh, it's adorable, I must use it, and then it, it didn't get any better. And then I felt bad, because I felt like the heart of the Pokemon should be better than that, but, but it didn't. <laughs> Gen 1 Rock Slide. <laughs> Mile attack is like, or something like that. A little bit. <clears throat> no. Why is there a small shape? Oh. Is it <coughs> bubble beam like? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to keep doing Pokemon noises. I'll do them, like, maybe a little bit longer, but 
it needs to not continue to be a thing. <coughs> I'm not doing melee Goldina again. <laughs> Porygon 2 is like beer, but Rumblings on ice perfectly represent a simple harmonic oscillator. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know what you're referring to. It's like... So here's the gimmick of this level. Uh, Ellie the elephant is afraid of mice and is only afraid of mice when they are in light. It's very stupid. Um, it depends. <coughs> it depends on if you get to the animal out of a crate or if you jump into a barrel to transform. Uh, Missing Nose Cry is very similar to Nidoran Males. <coughs> it's just kind of like, <coughs> kind of generic thing. Um, and I think, I think, uh, M Block, or just apostrophe M, or whatever you want to call it, is, uh, I want to say Zapdos. It kind of weird. I'm not really sure how the game determines that. This is a good bonus level right here. Um, yeah, I've actually said on multiple occasions that Morton Fears a Shoe is my favorite <laughs> video title also. Um, there might have been other ones that are better since then, but I don't remember any specifically. Um, M block, I, I don't think anybody really calls it that. Most people just call it M. It's basically, it's the same sprite as Missing now, but it's with a different name. Like, and I think they have, like, slight differences in stats and stuff. Um, plus, I want to say that Missing No doesn't evolve, but M evolves into, like, Kangaskhan and Clefairy consecutively or something stupid like that. Uh, Bulbapedia actually goes over all the glitch Pokemon in way more detail than any human being should ever need. So if you're curious about that, I recommend checking it out. If you search for Missing No or just Glitch Pokemon in general, you'll find, like, the list of all of them, and then you can find it from there. <coughs> Mort has never ruled. Horton Hears a Who. I have not seen that movie, so I'm not sure what you're referring to. We all scream in frustration for Ice Beam. I think the Zazaz glitch is, like, I don't think it's a Pokemon, I think it's just like a weird effect that you can have. Yeah, I forgot about three, tr three trainer Poke dollar sign. That's another good one. No! Okay, actually, if I fail the minigame, do I get a chance to do it again, or do I have to restart the whole level? Okay, yeah, I can do it again. 
I like the cat in the hat movie. It's such garbage, but for some reason I found it funny. Instance where a game scared me. Um... I don't know if it's necessarily scared, but I always got, like, extremely startled by the, uh, Ripper enemies from Banjo-Kazooie. That's the first thing that comes to mind. The piano from Mario 64 never bothered me, but that's because I, like, read the guide before I got to that, so I wasn't, like, caught off guard by it. Um... Let's just go back and get another one, I guess. Also, this game doesn't suck. <coughs> the Deadly Six? What the hell does that mean? What is this? Some Pokemon glitch, apparently. Swanky Sideshow. Let's see, what does this do? God, I remember this now. I completely forgot this existed. I'll do it once just to show it off. Oh, there's three different games. Okay, um... Let's just do this first one, I guess. So here's, uh, Cranky's entire role in this game. He just plays against you in a carnival game, and that's it. Oh, and apparently B throws. I was not expecting that. And we get a full minute of the full minute of this mini game, so oh, never mind. I okay. Well, that was a nice distraction. And you... Oh, well, I earned my coins back. I guess that might be good for grinding, but, uh, yeah, I don't really need to do that now. So, instead, let's fight the, uh, cousin of the bucket boss. Or are we ready for the cousin of the bucket boss? It's pretty good. I like when the teeth just randomly shake like that. It's weird. So, um, this sure is a boss. <laughs> uh, no, that was Swanky. He's basically the exact same character as Donkey Kong, but slightly different. I, I know that was so descriptive, I could, bar I could hardly stand it, but... There we go, that was a good boss. All right, well, that was the first map. And I guess we're immediately moving on. Barrel shield bust up. Oh, is this going to be the one with... Repeatedly. Uh, Lavender Town... Yeah, Lavender Town never creeped me out. Anyway, I'm sure there's been other times that I've been scared by games. I just can't remember any right now. I've played this. It's been a long time, though. I used to play this game, like, yep, here we go. Rhythmic monkey throwing. And no, I refuse to watch the Donkey Kong Country TV show. But it's so good. It's not good at all. No. But yeah, this was the one of the uh, original trilogy that I liked the most as a kid, and probably still do today. 
Although it's pretty close with number two, I'm not sure. I used to like practically speed run this game. I, s I used the qualifier practically there because it was not actually a speed run, but I'd be able to beat the whole game in one sitting um, in a reasonable amount of time. <coughs> I don't remember what the monkeys are called, actually. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I guess we're doing that level a second time. I could just rewind, but eh. Uh, yeah, I went to Blockbuster when it was around. That was a... I don't really have much of a story to go with that, but yeah, I, I did. And even in relatively recent times, I have been to Family Video, which is basically the same thing, because it does in fact exist, despite popular opinion. Can you clear your acne? Um... I don't know. I've not had it, so I'm not sure. I think there is, like, treatment you can get for that. forward in the level, or... Oh, not by much, okay. I like the rhythmically, uh, like, acorn-throwing monkeys. It's pretty good. Ask me for life tips. Most of my answers will be, oh, fucking no. But yeah, if you want to ask me for random crap, I mean, I'm fine with that. It's not like you haven't already been doing it. Acne Ferno. Okay, that needs to be a Pokemon now. How do I ask out a girl? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> like I said, that's just gonna be my answer for everything. I have been in a total of five relationships. Obviously, one of them worked out. And in all the other ones, I was just kind of like, like, they were all online, so I'm just like, hey, 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 and I like you, and they're like, okay, and then that was basically it. How do I get over there? I think you just know when you meet somebody. Safest way to cook eggs. Um, let's see. Throw them into a pot without water. I don't think there's really an unsafe way to cook eggs. No, th throw them in a pot without water and then put the pot in a different pot, and then put that pot in another pot, and then mail it to yourself. Yes. <laughs> Thoughts on student loans. I have not been to college, so I don't know anything about them from experience, other than I know that apparently they, like, take your entire life to pay off, and in many cases are not worth it. A lot of people can go through college without loans. They take a lot of work, though. They, take, they work, like, three jobs. <clears throat> I'm going through college without loans, but I just kind of got lucky in that situation, or perhaps unlucky, depending on how you, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. 
Recent box extinctions. What the hell do you mean? Did somebody go around and kill all the boxes in the world? Hey, don't be making fun of my boxes. I like boxes. Um, I answered the 9-11 question in the last stream, so I will not answer that one again. Other than saying I was at school in health class when I learned of it. Health class is like the most useless freaking thing. Okay, Riverside Race. This is a funky level. It's the only level that you are on a timer. So let's just go. Go. No time to think. Also, swarm of bees. Probably gonna have to do this one multiple times. I especially liked when I had to take health class in uh, summer school because if I didn't, I would have had to take it like in the normal year and it was a waste of a period. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just get it out of the way. And then I had to take world history in summer school because of stupid reasons. And the best part about that is when you sign up for the class and the teacher is always like, oh, did you fail it? And I'm like, no, I never took it. Like way to make me feel, like, guilty for it. Jeez. Yeah, cool death. Uh, I have played exactly one Fire Emblem for about like two or three hours and it was sacred stones so by default my answer is that one because i don't i mean and and, uh, and mumble this level is timed for reasons Ah, shit, I didn't do it in time. Well, yep, we're doing that level at least twice more. Um, I was in the room when Path of Radiance was being played, but I was not the one playing it. Okay, let's try that again. Genealogy of the Holy War is a pretty good name, I agree with that. Isn't there one that's just like a bunch of random letters and numbers? Um, my recommendation is for him to remain one, actually. Nothing wrong with that. They're not adding anything. <laughs> adding anything it's, to this it's not like I have anything else to talk about. <clears throat> I don't mind them so much, but some of them are a little bit stupid. Okay, so now that I've done that, now I have to actually do the stage again and get the other bonus level in the DK coin. Any game could have an HD remake. I don't really freaking know. Like, I am perfectly fine with games having the graphics that 
were appropriate for the time period. So, like... Like, Mario 64 already had the DS remake, which wasn't really substantially better graphics, granted, but... Like, if they were to make an HD remake of that, then, yeah, I'd play it, but... Like, I don't think it needs to exist. And I can't really think of any other games that I would, like, really want that for. I don't know. Remakes in general, I don't really... Well... Let me, let me actually start that sentence over. I like remakes when they substantially improve the game, like Zero Mission and most of the Pokemon remakes. If it was just gonna be like a Twilight Princess or Wind Waker type situation, I don't think I would really care as much. So, I guess it really just depends. Mm. Okay, can we do that again? How was my childhood in general? Lays on couch? Well, you see. I'm, like, I don't know how the hell to answer that. I like how I actually made that. That was pretty good. Wait, Tetris is getting a space opera trilogy? What the hell? Well, I'm glad you find me fascinating. I'm not sure why, but all right. <laughs> no, I've not heard of that, or if I have, I've forgotten about it. Well, when you say that Wind Waker HD had some excellent changes and additions, I assume you're referring to, like, the fast sale and, like, the slight streamlining of the Triforce quest, both of which were good to have, but I also wouldn't say that that necessarily justifies a remake. Like, at that point, basically the only point of doing the remake is making it playable on the newer system for, like, a new generation, and that's fine. But it also isn't something that I would, like, ask for. So yeah, this is a bit of a funky level. There's, like, these meters throughout the stage that, uh kill the rats and opens a door eventually. It's kind of funky. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, again, it's... I played through both of the HD Zeldas and I was fine with that. But they also... Like, I don't know. It, it's, it's mainly, I think, for people who either were, like, a super diehard fan of the original or never played it the first time around because either they just didn't have the system or they were too young or whatever. Whereas the remakes that I would be interested in seeing would be like the Metroid 2 one. Like that was unofficial but if that had been a real like official game that would have been really good. Um, the Pokemon ones like I said. Uh, let's see. Basically just like, NES, Super Nintendo-style games being updated to have, like, not-shit mechanics is what I'm looking for. Why not? 
I'm actually still thinking about the remake question. I'm trying to think if there's anything at all that I would, like, specifically want to see happen, and really nothing is coming to mind. I know a remake that I'm specifically looking forward to that is being made. FF7. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, but I don't really concern myself with that one too much. What is it, then? Uh, Apes Exodus is being remade. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Why did people not like the other remake again? The Odyssey one? Yeah. It didn't capture the essence of the original, like, almost at all. It felt like a... Like, really bright, oh, cool. needlessly upbeat, and like, mm. just tonally inconsistent compared to the original. It wasn't as cohesive an environment. There were a lot of reasons. Uh, the remake of Babes Odyssey. Oh, I think I rented Toy Story on Super Nintendo back in the day. I do remember it being difficult and not getting past, like, the second stage. Okay, screw this. At this point, if it's a bonus level that I can just walk back to, I'm just gonna frickin' use this rewind. I don't care. I did not realize there was not a Kingdom Hearts 3. Aren't there, like, 17 non-numbered sequels? Or did they not count? Are they, like, spinoffs? There's, like, yeah, some weird number slash two days. Like, I, I don't know what that means. And then there's the one, and then there's the DS one, which is, like, the weird card battle system. But I know that's not, like, a main one. It was, uh, Abe's Odyssey is what he was talking about. Odd world. random fraction of death. I would ask what the significance of that number is and why that's the title of the game, but I also don't actually care, so I actually don't want an answer for that. Is Chain of Memories the one that there was like a two second cl uh, cloud cameo? Because, uh, I remember back in the Brawl pre-release days, obviously long before Cloud became a DLC character, um, people wanted Cloud to get in uh, Brawl, and they were saying like, "Oh, he had a cameo in the in the King of Hearts or Kingdom Hearts game, and it totally counts." And they're like, "No, he didn't do shit in that game." Let's just fall a few hundred more times. He was a boss, okay. Also, I remember, um, wasn't Gino from Mario RPG, like, the tutorial character for some random minigame in, like, <clears throat> Superstar Saga or something? Because I remember people using that as justification for him getting it as a character, too. They're like, he's not owned by Square. He's in that. Like, or they could get permission because they put him in that. I'm like, I don't know. I think of a square shaped clue. This sure has been a level. Perry, best character. This is Perry the Parallel Bird. It does nothing, and it just flies parallel above you. That's it. Best character. I love this thing. Its entire purpose is to be an inconvenience, 
and, like, have you try to avoid enemies so that it can turn into stuff when you get the, like, no animal sign. Perry is the best. Spring and spiders, huh? Uh, well, Ocarina of Time was remade on the 3DS. I assume that's what they're talking about. Minor avalanche in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. I wouldn't go that far, Cheese. Twilight Princess does take inspiration for Ocarina of Time in a lot of places, but it's definitely not a remake. Like, the only similarities really are just the themes of some of the dungeons and, like, the fact that it's a Zelda game, and that's about it. How do you balance a checkbook? Um, let me flash back to my frickin' consumer right. economics. Shit all over. Hmm? This is where I leave because people are gonna shit all over the Twilight Princess, so... Okay. See you later. Well, bye. Yeah, I was about to say, let me flash back to my consumer economics class from high school and I'll tell you. I think you basically just write down everything you spend a check on and make sure that you don't, like, use more money than you have, and that's about it. Yeah, also, who the fuck uses checks? Yeah, balancing a checkbook is actually really easy. I don't know why it's made up to be a thing that's like... Yeah, you just literally write down. Yeah, you, as long as you have the receipts for all your purchases, which, if you're gonna balance your checkbook, then you should, then it's literally just writing them down in order and doing the math. That's true. Old people do use checks, but they don't count. Because they'll be dead soon anyway, fucking kangaroos. Even in despite of having completed Breath of the Wild at this point for the most part, I think, uh, I still think TP is my favorite. Clearly, between, uh, Martin and I, we haven't played through that game enough times, and I should do, like, a Metroid Prime 22%-esque thing with you, like, learning the glitches and stuff. Okay. Starting right now, go. No. Is this the level I just did? Yeah, it is. I'm confused as to where I am in the level now. See, I, I never really got the edgy vibe from Twilight Princess, at least not that much. Like, it's it's visually darker than the other Zeldas, but it isn't, like, super angsty or anything. Like, I don't know. Wandering around. Once I found a cake, then there was a cake, and then it was dead, and it was, useless. there was a sauce, it was probably brown, because everything is brown, everything is corn, there was a dead cat, okay, I'm done. But that isn't pee. Riding on the bus, riding on the bus, there's an open seat, hope that isn't pee. Except I did it slower to fit the tune. No! What about, yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. The enemy style, it went for a much more, like, realistic slash grotesque art style. But I don't know if that in itself counts as edgy. Like, I don't know. It still had goofy moments. Can I get a definition of edgy? Because <laughs> I don't know. It's like TP is. I, I think I think edgy is basically Shadow the Hedgehog. 
okay. But see that, uh, like, Shadow of the Hedgehog was, like, filled with teen angst, and TP has, like, none of that. Despite both our dark, quote-unquote, gritty environments, I'm, I'm not even sure I'd say both of those are gritty environments. I'd